and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jess Skywalkers. All right, so what we're doing today is we're doing a modified version of Tier 1 Tuesday, which is um, something that we do uh, here on Tuesdays. Not every single Tuesday, but a good amount of Tuesdays. However, we've already played through a good amount of the Tier 1 decks right now, and so instead what I'm doing for this is we're going to be playing some ranked matches with four unique decks that did well in the Arena MCQ this past weekend. All four of these decks were decks that made Day 2, which means they were in the top 128, which I believe means a record of like 7-2 or better uh, whenever they played that. So that's what we're doing over here. So you can see the four decks that we're playing. This video is with Jeskai Walkers. Sorry, we got tons and tons of Planeswalkers with Jeskai here. And of course, our payoff for playing a whole bunch of Walkers is Sarkin. Uh, Sarkin's plus one ability allows us to turn any of our Planeswalkers into 4-4 four, four red dragon creatures. Coming up here, Hawkeye. Uh, besides that, we have, you know, we're a Deafening Clarion. Well, I guess our other payoff, of course, is Interplanar Bacon that allows us to gain a whole lot of life, which is something that, you know, control decks always want is extra life. So that's always a good thing. But, you know, first and foremost, this is a Deafening Clarion deck. This card is is a really strong one. Um, right now, a lot of aggro decks running around there. And then even like the main combo deck with Scape Shift, uh, Clarion is a good card to have against that deck as well. I was a little surprised to not see Exile Removal for like a Danto Vanguard. Like there's not Baffling Ends or Devout Decrees in this list. Well, Devout Decree doesn't take out Baffling End, but you know what I mean? Just we don't really have much Exile stuff like that. So I was a little surprised there, um, but that's but that's okay. I want to try it out. Like Settle the Wreckage is a card that probably not very many people were playing around. And you can probably get some people with Settle the Wreckage, especially if you like have Teferi in play where you get to Teferi tick up. And so then your opponent's just thinking like, um, they, they, you could have like any sorcery that you're like holding your mana up for. So like, maybe they're like, oh, they're just holding their mana up for Deafening Clarion or something like that. And then you get them with the settle that could happen. Uh, big fan of blood sun these days. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be playing some control. We got, we had an aggro before this. We're doing aggro after this. So let's get a little control in here. I know this kind of Jeskai Planeswalker deck is a, is a type of deck that we've had, um, some requests to see played on stream again so that's what we got <laughs> planeswalkers are fancy enchantments basically oh. yeah silence um yeah i can i can take a take a look at that i have one thing I do with decks... Alright, so if they're playing a fast deck, we're dead. If they're playing a slow deck, this is a good hand. So we're going to hope that they're, they're a slow deck and that this is a good hand. I do I do deck techs on stream, like where for a $10 donation, we you know put the deck up on stream and talk about it for like 5-10 minutes and, and everything, if you would like that. Uh, besides that, um, I can also just kind of just, you know, like while, while streaming here, I can just kind of glance at, at the list and and just say a, a couple of things about it, but it won't be too much. But, um, you know, I can do that as well. You can also um, post it in the Discord channel. You know, tag me on, tag me there in the Discord channel. There's different rooms for different types of decks there also. You want, like, even just more people's inputs. I train every day. No also, and you can tag me, and then when I'm not streaming, you know, I go Meditate. through and... And uh, give more comments. Um, it's always kind of good to have like questions. Let's see, or of course you can just send me a, a private message there I on the Discord channel too. Limits. It's easier for me to like when you have questions or, or something. You know, it's it's kind of hard to like if it's just thoughts on deck list because I don't have like all the information about like maybe some card choices are um, our budget or anything like that or you know. It's always kind of good of like, I'm struggling with this. Can do you have any ideas of how to help with it or? Um... My prowess does not keep an open mind. 
You know, like that kind of stuff. Thanks, Budachrist. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. So I did want to cast Clarion there to just kill one creature. I was thinking that maybe we could get more than one creature with it. I don't really mind the Narset taking lethal damage here, because that's damage that I'm not taking. Hey, Death Original. Yeah, do exclamation point deck list in the chat. Or, sorry, <laughs> Discord. Ah, you can type this. Thanks so much there, Death Original. I really appreciate that Twitch Prime sub and that support. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Chandra is annoying. I'll just use that. Yeah, of course. The plan with Chandra obviously oh, is to tuck, it's you burning. tuck her with Teferi, but then she's going to come back in a little bit. After that. What am I drawing an interplanar beacon? with yeah let's just do this let's just get rid of this thing this isn't a fight you can win you need to take a time so sacrifice I like grim initiate in, the, in that deck I think that's an underrated card yeah it this looks pretty good um, defeat I'm I'm kind of wary of like three Bantu. I think that's a lot of Bantu. This isn't a fight you can win. But I don't hate it. Don't worry. I got this. So now our opponent can't really play Frenzy this turn, because if they do, then tell. they won't be able to play Chandra. Wow. Or they still do. I guess they just don't don't mind not having Chandra available. Hmm. So I want to play Sarkin and I want to make a dragon, but that means that Sarkin dies just to a shock, and I don't like that. I don't want Sarkin to die to a shock. So then that then that's making me want to tick up so Sarkin doesn't die to a shock. It's a rough spot to be, to be in. I guess if Sarkin does die to a shock, we still have a 4 4, I guess. Behold! Uh, you are bold!
There is no peace and defeat. That did not go very well for us. <laughs> what are you doing, Hawkeye? You can't just lay it down completely on the keyboard. Just passing my turn. Hmm. Prepare to marvel at my masterpieces. I am not going to sit this one out. I'll protect you. I know. I'm sorry I said you couldn't lay on the keyboard. You can lay right here next to the keyboard. Stop with the chain whirlers. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I don't know get more free wizards lightnings. We are running them out of burn. I don't know how much burn they've been through, but it seems like it's been a lot. Two strike, three strike, three strike, two wizards lightning, one shock, three firebrand. Seems like it's been a lot of burn. Can we mill them out? Is that is that something that can happen? Probably not. I still got half a deck. This will not deter me. Yeah, the experimental frenzy card is pretty good. So I wanted, to, I want them like minus one and grab the opt because you know ticking up just means you draw a land, which drawing a land isn't really valuable here. But if I minus, then Karn dies to a three damage spell. So I'm gonna just wait one turn. We'll tick up once there, and so that next turn I can minus, I can minus one and grab the opt next turn. I know I have the backup Karn, but that still doesn't mean that I, I need to throw away this Karn. I don't need to make it easy for them to kill one Karn just because I have another. So we've gone through two Clarions. Uh, six mana Chandra is pretty good against, uh, definitely really great against control, but really not that bad against aggro either. Main downside is that six mana thing I just said. This will aid us. Hmm. All right, so that's the card we need. But I, if I play Sarkin, I don't have Dovin's veto available.
which could be could be a problem. Yeah, I'm not really flooding. Yeah, I've gone through half the deck. So yeah, having nine lands, it's not bad for half the deck. We've done a pretty good job of drawing spells. There isn't like a, a huge card draw spell in here, you know, like a Sphinx's Revelation or anything like that. Yeah, they had a really bad frenzy turn that last turn. Land, Steam can land. And now it looks like maybe they just hit land, land again. All right, so that's the great part about frenzy. You know, you just blow it up and then you're like, oh, hey, now I have a seven card hand. How about that? Destruction, your only art. It is best if you stop. Well, I was hoping they were going to play Chandra for my veto. They did not. But what they did does kill both my planeswalkers. I am proud. Fight another day. That card would have been nice to have. Last turn when we had Sahili. We begin. <laughs> Magnificent. I gotta fight through another frenzy. Should have shocked pumpkin when you could. I don't even know what that means. Should have shocked pumpkin when you could. Steamkin? Oh, Steamkin. Could could we have shocked Steamkin? When when could we have shocked Steamkin? I just drew the strike and it's been a 4-4 the whole time. Oh, I could have grabbed the the strike instead of grabbing opt. Yeah, I mean I could have done that. Arena, why are you slowing down? Come on, Arena. Our actions determine the course of history. Your patience is rewarded. So Karn's still at four loyalty. Doesn't die to just one burn spell. Our 4-4 four, four can trade with their 4-4. Four, four. And then we have removal for the other three creatures.
They got 17 more cards we got to fight through. So they are out of lightning strikes, right? Yeah, they are out of lightning strikes. I think they got a couple more shocks. Efforts are futile. Hmm. I wish I would have killed Steamkin. I will be better prepared. Next I got thirteen time. cards. This would be a great time to draw a Clarion. No. Now that thing's better than. Now that thing's bigger than. Clarion. What know you of dragons? Very good draw. <laughs> so there's one shock left in the deck. They're down to eight cards. Clarion would be quite good. They're really looking for a burn spell to kill this Arkin. Yeah, there's one more shock in there. There's two more light up the stages that they haven't played. Is that all the Chain Whirlers? No, there's one more Chain Whirler. Uh, they found, there's the last shock. They, find, they found it. And there's the last Chain Whirler. So they can go Chain Whirler, Sack Firebrand, and Shock to kill the 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, so they have three cards left. Like really, if we, if we would draw a Sweeper to kill this whole board, we would win, but I don't think we have a Sweeper in our deck. Besides Clarion, like in the main deck here. Yeah, it's just Clarion. So we can't kill the 4-4s, four which is the problem. I wouldn't say that the... That it's non-existent control decks on ladder. We played three control decks with the Azorius Skies deck. So, yeah, our opponent having six four drops. I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Listen to them. I will come on. I will come on. How could I have lost? It's a good start. This into Clarion. That into another Te Teferi into Teferi into Clarion. Stand by and watch. And this game's like over. Can we can we hit runner Teferi into Teferi into Clarion? Alright. Opt. Not Clarion. 
Clarion? No. Yep, no cigar. We ran them out of burn spells. So yeah, wiping wiping the board there. I think we could have got there. Alright, so Dawnbringer. I'm going to have to reset Arena again here. I don't know why it's being so slow here. So Binding, Settle, Nova. Um... Daredevils are so weak to Chain Whirler, but they're so good at killing stuff. They're so good against non-Chain Whirler. Like, even them dying to Firebrand's fine because it kills something else. Kind of want more Vetoes, actually. Countering their stuff is important. Um... Sarkin wasn't very good, but Sarkin did eat a lot of burn spells. Like, making the 4-4s four that ate a bunch of burn spells. Same kind of thing. It's like, Saheeli's not very good either. And we just do those two. Maybe get rid of one Sarkin here. I'm gonna play one Sahili over a Sarkin. I'm just, I don't want I don't want a second Chandra, but I think I like the first Chandra. I wanna try this. Yeah, the the problem is I, I put in a couple other five mana cards, so I don't I don't I think I need to cut a couple five mana cards. I put in a, a Dawnbringer and a Cleansing Nova. And so I think I have to cut a couple other 5-plus mana cards. Which is why I trimmed a couple Sarkins. I could see playing, just going with 3 Sarkins, 0 Chandra. But I kind of want to play 1 Chandra. Didn't I take Narsets out of the deck? Wait a minute. Didn't I take all the Narsets out? Like, what's going on here? I took all the Narsets out, right? Did like one stay in somehow? I thought I pressed okay. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. I thought so. I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, Narsa's not awful. But I guess I guess not. Do we just not sideboard? Let's see how you work. That's re that's really upsetting though. I guess we just didn't sideboard. I really thought I sideboarded. That's really unfortunate. Dissuade me from battle. Yeah, I don't. I 
I don't like that very much. Just not, just having, just not sideboarding. Trust me, you'll thank me later. That's more like it. Yeah, maybe this, maybe like the the lag part here, made me lose time. Cause yeah, I definitely didn't have multiple Sahili, so and I took these out. So yeah, we we were just playing our our game one deck again. That's really sad. Hopefully we'll get, hopefully we'll be fortunate and still win, and be able to sideboard for game three. Yeah, in the clip you checked. Yeah, it, yeah, it just didn't it didn't register the my sideboarding, I guess. Cause yeah, I only kept one Sahili in. Yeah, and I had ten seconds left whenever I hit submit there. Huh. Oh well. All right, well, we'll strike the steamkin. Grabbing Clarion off Narset's not necessarily the best. It's pretty easy to play around. Like, when, grabbing Clarion at this point whenever they don't have the stuff out. Really for it. So I'm just going to grab the Sarka and they can threaten to end the game in two turns. That's not the... Okay, that's, that's nothing I've ever heard before, so... Sideboard timer runs server side while the displayed oh, one promise. is local. Cool, I hadn't heard that before. I don't know exactly what that means, and but that sounds about right. Let us fight. Might demands power. We'll put him down to eight. Hey Godfrey, yeah, this is our first match with this deck. We are down a game, but it looks like we're getting game number two. Just one mana over there, two mana over there. All right, well, Narset Sahili were awesome. I don't need all four vetoes. We'll go three. I don't know. Vetoes are good. Let's go with this. We'll play a second Sahili and cut a Karn from what we would have done last time. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do any sideboarding for game two and one game two. I do not, Godfrey, now.
Yeah, Narset, Narset was good for us only because we had already stabilized with everything else, and so then just playing it later on it was good, but doesn't necessarily, but yeah, we don't need it here on the on the draw. So you know, being on the draw, this is kind of rough to mulligan, but I want to mulligan. No, we'll keep it. This is not one of our top hands. This is not a hand that I would like to have, like if I was picking a hand, but I guess I can't really compare this to, you know, saying, do I want to keep this seven versus other sevens? It's do I want to keep this seven versus a random six? And while it's not in the top half of sevens that I would want, I think it's a little better than a random, than a random six. So obviously I could just be, you know, throwing this into the wizard's lightning, but that takes their whole turn. So I didn't mind that as much. Hmm. And basically we just traded Daredevil for light up the stage, basically. I, of course, want to play Sahili and Opt together. If both of these Planeswalkers start at 5 loyalty, I'll just play the one that's not Sahili. Okay, well, the Time Raveler traded with two burn spells. That's not so bad for us. Could be worse. Sahila so only traded with one, but one very valuable burn spell. Plus got us a 1-1 to trade with their Diagonal Monkey. Really hope they don't have another Fry, because the Hero of Dominaria can take over. If you show remorse, Especially with Dobin's Veto back up. Let's skip to the good part. Because... The, we all know how fair these blue-white planeswalkers are. Just get to untap two lands. Pretty fair. Hey, that was uncalled for. Yeah, the yeah, this is called the diagonal monkey because it's always diagonal. See? No more it's just always diagonal. 
No time for a break. Whoops, not you. You. Cleansing Nova can kill Frenzy. Stop that now. By the time they could play another Chain Whirler, we would be able to um By the time they could play a Chain Whirler, we'd be able to tick up again. I should have waited on this. But yeah, I guess. So yeah, letting that resolve. That was the card I... I mean, I guess, yeah, that was just the card that I didn't really consider. Was Diagonal Monkey. I, sh I should have waited on the Opt. Maybe they attack. I don't cast opt. Uh, they probably don't attack. Alright, good spell. But, like, if they don't, you know, I get to see them not attacking, and then I should just wait on the opt, and then I don't have to use the lightning strike. Also, or, like, I don't have to keep the lightning strike with the opt. I could have put it on the bottom. We have Frenzy covered with Cleansing Nova, but yeah, it would be nice to find a, a Planeswalker. That really hurt having Teferi die. I regret negating, not negating, Burn Spell. Alright, nice game too. I'm known for my excellent fight. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Every planeswalker is a good draw with double double bacon. A nice serving of breakfast with each planeswalker draw. I know. Let's light it up. Yeah, then I, I would have had to like minus the Teferi to tuck the Chandra if we didn't. Be a bad idea. Feel my pain. See ya. Chandra, why are you shooting yourself? Don't shoot Chandra. Goblin Pirate is pretty cool. Not looking good, not looking very good for us here.
Let's try this. All right, so I think I lost this game by not negating that wizard's lightning. I think that's where we lost this game. I wish I still had all the narsets in here now. Instead of just like I wish we just had a planeswalker. Bleh. Yeah, worst way to die. I mean, both those games we lost, you know, didn't have really enough spells to be playing. It does kind of seem like this deck doesn't have enough card advantage. Like, sure, we have a couple of Planeswalkers, but not not very good card advantage Planeswalkers. Like, Narset can get you a couple of cards. Teferi gets you, like, one card. Like, they replace themselves, but they don't get cards over and over. We only have the one big Teferi and two Karns that can get you cards over and over. Yeah, apparently we shouldn't have done sideboarding. All those sideboard cards looked really bad, <laughs> where if we just had Narsets, it would have been a lot better. So Hollow Fountain decks, a lot of them are playing Thought Erasure. We're going to have the Devon's Veto available on turn two, which means I'm paying two life next turn for the Parter of Veils. Yeah, Drawn for Dreams could be nice. Could also just kind of see our deck, like see this kind of deck playing like one, like one blue finale. Is that crazy? One Ugin? Like Ugin also is like another Planeswalker that draws cards plus gets you like blockers plus is just kind of awesome. With having Karn in play, we should be able to get more lands. Shouldn't be a problem. I, I should probably minus and just grab the other Karn. All right, well, I'm definitely minusing the next couple of turns if we have that ability. Um, let's slow this down. Yeah, I don't really mind I've if they just play zero. Bell Haunt again. We keep getting an extra land, then we have to just keep discarding the land, but we're playing stuff. Um, I don't, I don't know if Jess guy's favorite against Mono Red or not. Seems like a pretty close matchup.
I haven't played it enough to really know who's favored there. This might be a bad idea. Hmm. We need to move quickly. Nothing is ever truly lost. I want to have Vito available. Don't really mind the Time Raveler dying. I want... Uh, Are you kidding me? You just have main deck Elder Spell? It's only a matter of time. You have got to be kidding me. In this metagame that has like hardly any planeswalkers now? What are we doing? How do we get paired against the person with main deck elder spell? I fight with a dragon for your end has arrived. What is going on? Well, that's bad news. Now they can kill the other. If they have another three mana to ferry, they get to bounce this thing and kill Sarkin. This 3 4. Sure, they just play that thing. It's the whole 4 toughness thing is rough. I guess I should have tucked Listen the Bell Hunt no. previously. Yeah, I understand. That's why that El Elder Spell is main deck to try to ultimate five mana to fairy, but we are just 100% dead now. I guess not 100% dead. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. Boom! Exploded. I can no longer stand by. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Cool. Hey, look what we found. I need some kindling. And you look flammable enough. Hey, I suppose that's I they just let my Chandra kill her to fairy and we gain loyalty. That worked out pretty well. Is it just me? Yeah, that op card's pretty good. Alright, twenty five turns. Not too hot for you. I guess it's worth playing this card because of Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure is a lot more likely than Elder Spell. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. That was a really lucky draw for us.
that Chandra. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our boat does have another main deck elder spell. They would get me for sure. Man, Chandra, what a draw. Out of all the draw steps and all the games and all the world, you walk into this one. Daredevil, Fry, another Chandra, some more Vitos. So, am I just taking out like the strikes and a shock? Those cards are all pretty, like they're useful though. But I guess I want all the planeswalkers. So, I guess that's what we're doing. Um, is there a reason why strike is better than shock? Strike kills Narset after a minus, shock does not. Shock still one mana is a lot better than two mana though for like different reasons for you know double spelling and stuff we'll play two strikes one shock see healy's useful yeah no i'm not interested in binding at all um see healy's useful just makes you know makes a good amount of one ones and then they have to like deal with the one ones and like the one ones pressure their planeswalkers and everything. Nah, Ixalan's binding is not good in this matchup. Like you just, Ixalan's binding a Teferi and the other Teferi gets rid of it and then they get their Teferi back and then get to activate it again. I do not like playing enchantments against a fairy. Like enchantment removal, don't don't care for it. No, thank you. I don't really need to cast opt on turn one just to make my opening hand look a little better. Opening hand already looks just fine. We can kind of, I like, I like getting a couple of draw steps first, you know, like the later you can wait for opt, the better it is, like the more information you have of like a card you really want. I think I want it here though, to see, like we have all the three mana planeswalkers and we haven't drawn one yet. So, you know, I gave myself another shot to look for a three mana planeswalker. And there's one right there. And I know they have Oath of Kai, like if I tick up, it does not die to Oath of Kaya. If I minus, it does Sorry, die to Oath of Kaya. I think I still minus. And just take the card. It's looking like my opponent wanted to have more blue mana than what they have available currently. Good old auto tap. Letting my opponent know that I don't have a red spell.
I have faith were all. Say hello to my I don't need a minus to Sahili to copy the construct yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Like I'm gonna wait another turn for that. Because we only get the two minuses with Sahili. So I wanted to make them both pretty valuable instead of just two extra damage for one. Yeah, that was a nice goldfish nice goldfish match. Well, our opponent could hit the mulligan button. And could do that. It's an option. So again, I don't really want to shock for um I don't think I want to shock to just have opt on turn one. I'm actually in Virginia right now, Bertolo. Yeah, still up here. Haven't moved back to Tejas yet. Yeah, we were playing against Gabriel Nassif. Very great player. Good guy. Good streamer. Oh wait, I was saying I don't want to shock. I almost shocked. Get that extra draw step first. Give us some more info. Alright, so we're playing against a knight deck. Likely Orzov. Um, let's just play this. Yeah, good old duress bug. Taking off, drawing off. That's a pretty interesting card. I like it. So maybe this is mono black. With having the color of this land. Starting to look a little mono black. Um, let's see if this stabilizes. Do you come to me? Yeah, I like I like main deck duress. Like with especially like a, a mono black deck, I think that's a, that's certainly that's very reasonable. Like the mono black control that I have, I'm playing four main deck duress in there. There are so many meditate and prepare. Right on schedule. I'll protect you. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh no, Teferi pumps up the Knight of Malice power to be able to kill Narset. I shall miss your company. It's looking like mono black knights. Here we go. So 
So casting Clarion. Does give the focus and keep an open mind. Does give my opponent two two cards. Midnight Reaper is pretty cool. I like that card. Basically, I like all the cards my opponent has played. Alright, they don't get any cards because Narset. Right. <laughs> wow. I'm so good at this game. That was definitely the thing that I was trying to accomplish. Just the trick for this. Ready to meet my flames. I mean, I really should just be playing Chandra here, just getting this thing in play. We could get Elder spelled. That'd be rough. So maybe another Chandra and a Binding and a settle couple vetoes i don't know i don't know if i need i don't need all these cards this is too many cards we need to see more of what's going on over here i'm not super interested in sarkin honestly i guess even sahili Because the legions end. Oh, whoops, that was 61. <laughs> You're praying for Elder Spell. <laughs> that would have been a really nice Elder Spell. Yep, the yellow hat. I shouldn't play Settle. I should take out Settle. I'm not getting a Seif with Settle. That should be the, the one card that's out. Hopefully we don't draw it. Hopefully it's just down at the bottom of the library. Hopefully... Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing the Mono Green Stompy up next. That's going to be fun. I'll be good. <laughs> I didn't play my land yet, and, um, you know, it's like telling me, hey, you're going to have to discard down to seven cards. It's like, whoa, chill. I was just getting to, towards playing my land. Hadn't done that yet. Alright, this is kind of obnoxious. Dovin. And all your vetoes.
Elvish Visionary. Getting on in there. All right, one planeswalker down. Oh, black penny. See, I have all these vetoes in here because I know the creatures aren't going to beat me. I was expecting spells that were going to be good, especially like even just like planeswalker removal spells. You know, like I wanted to wanted to have something for planeswalker removal spells. I really like this cryptic caves though. That's that's a really nice card to have access to there. I like that quite a bit. Look to the skies. We could definitely get, like, this game's not over. It looks good for us right now, but we could get Elder Spelled. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. I want to exile the Reaper. Ooh, exploded. Yeah, I don't know. We could get, we could get Elder Spelled. And then, you know, like, Elder Spelled and Legion's End, and, and this is the game. No Elder Spell. Yeah, Chandra has been awesome for me, for sure. All right, we're going to play one more match. And then head on over to our next deck. One more match will be like halfway through our stream. Here for tonight. So I know it's only four instead of five matches, but control decks usually take a little longer, just kind of in general. Yeah, double veto. That that double veto turn was really good. The vetoes just in general were great. Playing, getting two red sources out there to show Veto the least amount here. Looks like we got a mirror match. Hey, what's up, Vladimir? You are Sorry, welcome. I appreciate that support. Thank you so much, Vladimir. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, I like I like both versions, All Star. They're both good. What's up, Kingston? In the end. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, we have a mirror match. That was important getting. Come to me. 
getting Karn out of here. Let's try this. Basically, I want to make it really hard to kill my stuff because all the removal is damage based. So I don't really want to minus and have low loyalty. You call that a hit? Yeah, you call that a hit. Looking for my other veto. There's only two in the main deck. I guess we'll have to settle for Chandra. All right, so now, now Teferi can minus and go to four. So now we'll minus because now we can go to four, which I guess I could have just done originally. I've got it. Also, wow, just all the luck. Well, this game's over. Can't be countered. Wah, wah. Anyone who stands guess the in my game's way not. Is getting sizzled. Yeah, it's still over. Well, I guess it's over if we draw a land. We need to draw a land to play Chandra. A million miles away I would keep myself I think binding could actually be um, necessary here. Because this deck that we're playing only plays one other big Teferi. So, you know, when you binding little Teferi, they only have like the one answer for it. It's a lot better than against Esper that has a lot of answers. Okay, game number two. Everything worked out really well for us that game. This is like our opponent last game just had turn four Karn. And we destroyed that. So I don't think I should keep turn four Karn under that premise. Jeez, can I have turn four Karn again? So I put Chandra to the bottom. Ugh, we draw two lands. Hmm. Which planeswalker are we putting to the bottom? This may be neither. Yeah, with the green decks, though, like, yeah, you have Steel Leaf Champion, Vivian Arcbo Ranger, like the triple green cards. It's really hard to play Cryptic Caves. This is going to be a rough, rough game here. Good thing we did not take veto. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I've got time. They're gonna make. They're gonna have two one ones because of opt. Oh, 
Or they're just playing Spell Pierce. Well, that will end the game. Alright, so it's not an actual 75 mirror. Game three. We'll be back on the play with hopefully seven cards. We had blue mana. We got plenty of blue mana. So unlike how I've liked waiting on ops before, I think I'm willing to play this one here early because we know so much about what we need. It's a good card. We can do the play lands game for quite a while. But here we go. Let's get Sahili in play. They can make some one ones for me. Boo. Guess we can't protect it with veto against a veto. Can't be counted. But at least we can kind of play around Spell Pierce. We can make Spell Pierce not do anything. So if I tick up to Fairy still dies to Fry, they can't play instance right now anyway. Let's opt. Let's see what happens. Hmm. It's a tough call. Game one, I'm I'm certainly ticking up because I don't want it to die to, to Shock and Strike, but it can still just die to Fry. Now here post board. But then if I mine it, so I want kind of want to minus and get a card, but then if I minus and it dies to a different removal spell, I'll be sad. It's a tough call, honestly. We'll tick up. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I 
Well, they had that mana situated out, though, is kind of like saying that I have fry. Card's broken. We need more of that card in this deck. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. I played it one game. I won. Opponents playing it here. They're gonna win. Hey, I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. A burning desire to finish you. Do I get Sarkin in play while I can? And then try to sh strike Chandra next turn? Chandra just ticks up. Um, yeah. Like, we have double bacon. Like double helping of bacon. Not too worried about an emblem. Best thing my opponent can have, what I do not want to see, is three mana to ferry to bounce the 4 4 and then, you know, a shock to kill the Sarkin. Only human. That's just as good. Do you worst? <laughs> Magnificent! And burned here. Yeah, that's what we've kind of done over here too. Just kind of crash and burn. I will call the dragons. Yeah, the flyers deck did really good, Choco. It was good. Both losses were against control with a lot of sweepers. I summon you. We beat another control deck. We were one and two against control. Both of our losses involved us mulliganing to five in one of the games. Behold new wonders. Time to come up with a new plan. Good card. Temporarily get rid of Sarkin and just Trust hope for no more shocks. You'll thank me later. This is hardly my worst defeat. Not so fast. Oh, that's really bad. Play that then Sarkin. I have practiced meditate and prepare. That's really bad. Looks like we lost the mirror. They come to me. All right, two and two. Losing a mirror match. Not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah, definitely a really respectable deck here. I want... I mean, it's like there's times like where Sarkin, you know, just kind of like wins the game whenever you play it when you have a bunch of other Planeswalkers. But honestly, like those games, like you're winning anyway. So I think like really the least impressive card in this deck was Sarkin, to be honest. 
A lot of other people just could deal with it very easily, you know, like killing it when it just has the two loyalty after you minus. The, making the dragon just turns on a lot of our opponent's removal spells like Legion's End and stuff like that. And uh, making a dragon is really bad against a fairy time raveler and so on. And I, I was really not impressed with the Sarkins. I liked like the rest of the deck. But honestly, Sarkin just... It's like, it's like yeah, when you already have, like, three Planeswalkers out, you play your Sarkin, and then you attack him for 12, and, like, wow, look at the Sarkin, it's cool. It's like, yeah, you have three Planeswalkers out, you're, you're gonna win. <laughs> like, why do, you, why do you need, why do you need the Sarkin? Honestly, I think that, that Hero of Dominaria is more impactful, and I think Chandra and Ugin, like, Chandra was awesome. I think Ugin is also awesome. I think those cards are just better than Sarkin. And I think those those cards just on their own, because Sarkin, Sarkin on its own, like I said, just can get answered quite easily, like where those other cards do a lot more. I don't know exactly like what numbers, like maybe like just playing four of these and another Chandra and an Ugin, or like, you know, maybe a second Ugin over you know, like over a Teferi or something, but I would rather just have those cards. Because, yeah, like, everything's playing, like, Legion's End or Time Raveler. Like, there's so many Teferi decks, and Teferi just bounces your token that you make. Um, yeah, just didn't... I just was not impressed with the Sarkins. I would rather just have these things. You know, I'd rather have, like, more interaction for them, more very good card draw... Um, Ugin is just awesome, you know, like makes good blockers. Plus, uh, whenever those blockers leave, you draw cards. Plus it can just get rid of everything. Like we, we struggled against other planeswalkers, you know, like as we saw against like the, the mono red deck, you know, like we didn't really have answers for like the four mana Chandra. We had the one to fairy that could tuck it, but then it would come back. It's so, like other, like planeswalkers were a problem where like Ugin can get rid of them. I would, I would just much rather have these things. Besides that, everything else was pretty good. I liked the the lightning strikes were actually very good. I liked them yeah, being able to go upstairs. Um, but yeah, that's what it really felt like that that we didn't have we didn't have a good enough top end of the deck, and that Sarkin um, wasn't pulling its weight. I'm not I'm not sold on like everything in the sideboard here. Like I'm not like sold on like binding and settle like I don't I mean I guess that, that's pretty good against aggro. I'm not really sold on the daredevils. Um yeah, I would like to probably see like some baffling ends in here. S some other uh I don't I don't know. I don't know exactly what. I'd have to play the deck more with the sideboard, but that's that's just something I want I would want to do with the the main deck is change those things out. Um, but certainly respectable deck here. Pretty good one. Yeah, that's, yeah, Major, that's what I talked about. It was like, when you have, mul you know, like the small walkers out and then you play a Sarkin and then you can tick up and, and, you know, attack for a bunch with your small walkers, then that's, that's when Sarkin shines, but that's like a scenario that you already have multiple planeswalkers in play whenever you're playing Sarkin. And if you need that, that's your scenario that you're, five mana planeswalker is that's when it's good i give me something that's just always good like these these cards are like you're behind and your opponent has some threat and you have nothing on the battlefield well you can still tuck it you can you know you can kill it with this thing or you can use use this as a sweeper you can kill anything you know like i want my expensive planeswalker to help catch me up when i'm behind and sarkin doesn't do that sarkin just uh like we would just play our sarkin and they would just get rid of the token and kill me or they would just shock the Sarkin and then just deal with the 4-4 later. Because we don't really have other creatures. So just, you know, any creature removal spell that they have in their deck. Because people play creature removal. They're getting rid of that token. <clears throat> so, basically, we need cards that are better on their own. Sarkin's not that. Get better Planeswalkers. Alright, Jeskai Walkers, though. Pretty, pretty good, and I think I'll have to try this deck out again here sometime soon with, like, this update. Um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll you know, I'll kind of, like, go through the sideboard and, you know, later with a more fine tooth comb there. Um, but it did feel like a pretty strong deck overall, and it felt like if we had some uh, some better replacements for the Sarkins, we could have been winning more of those. Like, both, both of our matches, I think that 
you know, just replacing those, I think we could have won both of them, basically. All right. Uh, but yeah, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and leave a comment as well. I'd appreciate all of that. But thanks for watching Jeskai Walkers, and I will see you for the next video.